ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But well, you're so high. Oh, man, you know I ain't high. But well, you're so high. Yeah, well, I just take a little sip every now and then. But well, you're so high. Hey, kids, welcome back. What a beautiful day. Sorry if you hear some wind here, but uh, it's just... I'm on my way back from a trip from Northern Ohio for work stuff, and I uh, thought I'd take this opportunity to do a year in review of my Roven 275A. Um, this, which I affectionately call Big Muff, is my fifth scale gas car. Let's see if I can get out of the shadow here a little bit. All right, very big. I'm gonna show you and talk to you about what we have done to this guy. So, I took the rear tires off, and put them on the front, made it a little bit wider in the front. And my, my brother Drew gave me these wheels for the back, which are pretty cool. Changed the air filter because the original one was totally gay. Put some stickers on it. Um, we put the anodized aluminum bumper on here. Uh, shock covers, wheel spacers. You can see this is very wide. Um, huge, huge, huge wide. I did take the wing off. I think the wing on a 30 pound car is kind of hokey because uh, it's not gonna keep anything down. And I just like the look. What else did we do? There is, There are side covers that come out here that uh, I did take off because all they do is collect garbage. I put uh, LED fog lights on there. They are bright as shit. Now obviously not right now because it's sunny out, but uh, you can drive this thing in the pitch black if you want to. It's pretty cool. Uh, put the anodized lightweight aluminum uh, chassis on here. I also took off the bottom scuff guard on here because don't really need that either. Uh, the pipe. Very cool. I put the dual exhaust pipe on here. I did put on a squirrel tail tune pipe, uh, but then took it off and put this on because it's just very, very fucking cool. Uh, let's see what else. Tricked it out with some other stuff. Put the chrome roll cage on there. 3D printed some mesh for the front. Uh, I think that's about it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start this thing up on camera real quick. And uh, just so you can see the exhaust and how that's working out. And uh, then I'm going to strap a GoPro cheap-ass hat cam to the top of this thing. You can see I've kind of bent up my cage a little bit. And then we're just going to take you guys on a ride. Hopefully the fucking camera stays on or you're not going to see the footage. <laughs> so we're going to fire this guy up real quick just so you can see it and hear it through this. Throw our choke down. Prime it maybe once or twice. Okay. That's all it takes. <laughs> My throttle is a little bit high, but you can see <laughs> it'll dig a hole. So let me fix the throttle, throw the GoPro on there, and we will go ahead and drive around. Be right back.
All right, there you go. A little bit of beat and greeting. Now, you saw me hit that post over there uh, at pretty good speed. I bent the whole frame up. See that? Bam. My anodized aluminum bumper broke off. <laughs> I hit that sucker hard. Hang on a sec. I got my pocket. Um, yeah, that's kind of a wash. Be getting a new one of those. Uh, but that was a very solid hit. And I'm glad I had this on there and hit it with this. This bit is pretty easy to straighten out. I'll just stick that in the vise, pop it back. No big deal. She held up great. However, my exhaust pipe came loose. This is the second time that has happened. You know, you guys probably heard in the video, it got very loud. Um, I put this back on yesterday tight with lock washers and Loctite, and the bitch still came undone. So I don't know, but I'm gonna have to use something. So anyway, but um, looks like she held up pretty good. Might have to bend that back a little bit, but no big deal. Uh, so given the fact that I hit that post at full speed just about, uh, I'm not gonna complain. So that's about it. <laughs> I do highly recommend these things. They're an absolute blast. I mean, they're just just fun as shit. Uh, just be a better driver than me and try to hit shit. I was standing at the other end of the uh, field here and hit that post. My depth perception is not so hot. So anyhow, until the next time, kids, have some fifth scale fun. Keep your shine side up. Bye.